<clears throat> all right, hey, shalom, shalom. Before I get started, as always, I want to give all praise to our power, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Hakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutation and blessings to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth that believe wholeheartedly in the true doctrine, all right, who are in hope of mercy and salvation. When Yahweh Shai returns to the planet Earth <clears throat> in these last days, okay? Um, this would be a going to the comment board. <clears throat> I wanted to reply uh, Sunday evening and even yesterday, but, you know, Jake been down, man. Um, just now getting uh, better. Still a little stuffy. Uh, but the, the sore throat is gone. You know what I'm saying? The little fever is gone. <clears throat> and I can, you know, talk a little better. Um, as you can see, True Kingdom, uh, he, 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 he made a comment on this video I did um, to preach delivery to the captives. And um, he put, you look sick, bro. Stand up. And believe in the new covenant. That's where the healing is. Now, when I when I heard that or read that, I said, "Okay, this must be one of those uh, one of them Jakes that believe that we are already in the new covenant." You know, and I immediate I thumbed it down. You know. Because if this was your, if this was a, like a recruitment com comment, I decline. Uh, uh, what's the word for harshly? I, I harshly decline. Okay. I harshly decline. Um. Whatever it is you thought you were doing with this comment, okay. <clears throat> and I was sick. You know, I felt it coming on yesterday at camp or that Saturday at camp and um you know if you watch the video I was uh you know trying to kill it off by drinking my teas and whatnot and um you know it, it got me but you know <clears throat> the body you know is a uh beautiful thing the most I put together even though this is a weak version of it as long as you put the right stuff in there, you'll be able to fight anything off, <clears throat> right? And um, I do believe in the new covenant, but I do not believe we are in the new covenant, okay? You know, we, we, the new covenant is going to come when our bodies change, when we don't get sick, all right? When we, <clears throat> when we don't have to teach each other, all right? So I say good eye for 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 staying that I was sick, you know, because I was and still kind of am. But I know who I've who I've learned from, and we are not in the new covenant yet. If that was the case, we'd be in the kingdom, and Yahweh Shai would be among us. Okay. So I just want to go here to this book. Second Timothy chapter three verse eight on down key point is in the fourteenth verse. All right. It says, Now as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. Okay? And a part of this thing you will get uh ailments in the flesh. Okay? If if you if you think you ain't gonna get ailment in the flesh, you're sadly mistaken, okay? This this flesh is corrupt. It does get sick. And just by you thinking that we're in the New, the new Testament doesn't mean that you ain't going to get sick, all right? It says, but they shall proceed no further, all right? And I know that that doctrine came from uh, the former head of Mississippi, and the other brother that's with him, all right? 
that we we are in the new the new uh, covenant. You know, they saying that they can heal people on the spot. Still ain't seen that. You know. But the point being is, Paul spoke about characters as yourselves. All right. It says, but they shall proceed no further. And he wrote this to Timothy. Okay. Because he knew Timothy was going counter spirits as such. All right. Men as such. And it's no different today. All right. It says, but they shall proceed no further. For their folly shall be manifest unto all men. As theirs also was. So it's going to come a time where the Lord is going to manifest uh, the folly of what those men are teaching. Okay? Lest they repent, which I don't see them repenting because it's been, it's been months now. <clears throat> and they still bucking up or still think that they have the right way. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, it says, uh, um, verse 9 again, but they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be made, shall be manifest unto all men as theirs also was. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, okay? And I have fully known the doctrine, okay? I've been, myself, I came into the knowledge uh, 08. So I'm coming up on 15 years, okay? This year, actually, uh, yeah, I, I was 25 when I came in. I'm about to be 40. <clears throat> So I've been fully, I fully have known the doctrine, all right, that has been preached to me. And also known who I've learned from, okay, which that's the key point I want to get in the 14th verse. But let's read. It says, but thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering. What's long suffering? A part of that is, 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 is becoming ill, becoming sick in the flesh, all right? Charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch and Iconium and Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. Okay? <clears throat> Yea, and all that will live godly in Hamashiach, Yahawashai, shall suffer persecution. <clears throat> so... A part of persecution is also ailments in the flesh. All right? Did not Paul have an ailment in his flesh? And what did the Lord tell him? He told him that my grace is sufficient unto thee. Long as the Holy Spirit isn't taken away from me, I'm, I'm willing to go through whatever. Okay? Whatever the Lord put, if he get me sick, hey, I'm good with that. Long as the Holy Spirit isn't taken away from me. All right? It says, Yea, and all that will live godly in Hamashiach, Yahawashai, shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. And those men that you're following <clears throat> from uh, Mississippi, all right, you're a part of the deceiving. You're being deceived. Whether you want to believe it or not, that's on you. You know, verse 14, but continue thou in the things which thou has learned. And this is what I'm doing and has been assured of knowing of whom thou has learned them. And, and I, I know who I've learned from. All right. And they've never taught. All right. That we are in the uh, new covenant. All right. They never taught that by believing in the new covenant. Uh, you'll be healed, all right? The scriptures tell us, matter of fact, the healing won't come until Yahawashai returns. So in essence, are you saying Yahawashai is here?
<clears throat> Malachi chapter 4 verse 2. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. All right? So when Yahweh Shai returns, that's when the full healing is going to come. All right? And ye shall go forth and grow up as calves as a star. Okay, now let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians 15. Okay? Because the healing is going to come when our bodies are changed. All right? I mean, you can't tell me you, you don't have a, a corruptible body right now. <clears throat> Your body is corrupted. All right, uh, this is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 52. On down, it says, In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Okay? And that's when Yahweh Shai beams us up into the fathership. Okay? That's when we're going to be healed. Okay? No more sickness. All right. No matter what sickness a brother or a sister of the elect has, it will be no more of that. All right. For this corruptible what's corruptible, this body that we have. So if it's corruptible, then it's subject to being uh, hurt. It's subject to getting ill. It's subject to all the, the uh, ailments that's out here. Matter of fact, when you go to the book of Deuteronomy. OK. Um, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, it tells us that we was going to be, uh, <laughs> this is crazy that I've got to do a video like this, man. You know, uh, uh, you know, Jake, wait a minute. <clears throat> that uh you know the Lord told us a part of the curses is that we were gonna be smitten all right with disease look at it right here um Deuteronomy 28 21 it says the Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he have consumed thee from off the land whether thou goest to possess it. Um, the Lord shall smite thee with a consumption and with a fever. I had a fever just the other day. All right? It broke. Okay? And with an inflammation, all right? Inflammation is uh, the body being inflamed. Okay? No matter where at. That's sickness. Okay? And with an extreme burning, and with the sword, and with blasting, and with mildew, and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. So these, this is a part of the curses. Becoming ill and sick is a part of the curses, my G. You know? <clears throat> Let me see. There's another one. Yep. Deuteronomy 28, 27. The Lord shall smite thee with the botch of Egypt. And with emeralds, and with the scab, and with the itch, whereof thou canst not be healed. That's sickness. All right? Let's see. I know there's more. There's more to this. You know, but you, I mean, if you have the eyes to see, you see that we're, we won't be 100% healthy. All right, just by believing in the new covenant, that we are in the new covenant. No. All right, we're going to be made whole and healthy when Yahweh Shai returns with healing in his wings. Okay? Let me see if I can find that one where it says. You know, even disease that is not written in the book. <clears throat> Let's see. Yep. 
Yep, here it is. The 59th verse. And the 60 and the 61st verse. It says, Then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful and in the, in the plagues of thy seed. Okay? Even great plagues and of long continuance and sore sickness and of long continuance. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt which thou was afraid of and they shall cleave unto thee. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. So we, we you know, this is part of our curse to, to, to become sick. All right. Now going back to Second Corinthians, First uh, Corinthians, fifteen and fifty-two, starting at fifty-two again, it says, "In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, okay, and this mortal must put on immortality. That's when our bodies change. That's when Yahweh Shai is coming with healing." in his wings, okay? So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory, okay? And uh, being sick, all right, sometimes you damn near feel like you're going to die, okay? But Yahweh Shai is going to come and change all of that, and that's when we will be under the new covenant. Okay, that's when we will be no longer uh, become sick. All right, no longer be wicked. All right, that will be the new covenant when Yahweh Shai returns with healing in his wings. And I got one more that Paul said to uh, in a letter he wrote to uh, <coughs> Timothy. Oh, so I'm sorry. Okay, because we going you you will be sick here, man. Okay, it's, you 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 ain't gonna. You, there's no way to uh, avoid it. Um, it says First uh, Timothy five and twenty three. It says, "Drink no longer water, but use a little wine for thy stomach's sake and thine often infirmities." What's infirmities? Okay. Let's look up this word infirmities. <clears throat> I mean, it's amazing. I think guys just, you know, I don't know, you know, you 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 you're taking this thing too personal. Okay, with the doctrine that you're trying to hold on to and 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 get people to believe. Okay? You should by that comment, you should have known I wasn't finna fall for that bullshit. You know, and and I thumbed it down. Okay, um, the Greek word for infirmities. Strong's G seven sixty nine, asthenia, 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 which means infirmity, weakness, disease, sickness, one of strength, weakness, infirmity of the body. Is native of weakness and frailty, feebleness of health or sickness. Okay, because this is a part of our curse. This is a part of uh, serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, point blank. Period. Uh, feebleness of mind or body. Okay, and everybody that has been sick know how weak you become in the body. When you when you you know dealing with uh, sore throat, fever, body aches, okay. Uh, by implication, uh, malady, morality, frailty, disease, infirmity, sickness, weakness, okay. So this is a part of this walk that we are on, of serving the true power Yahweh through His Son Yahweh Shai. Which sickness is a, is a is a part of the journey, okay? Point blank, period. Um. 
So let's finish this out. It says, and that from a child, I'm going to read 14 again. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High. We just went through a little slew of scriptures to show you, you know, something simple as being sick is a, is a part of this thing, man. You're going to get sick in the body. These bodies are, uh, they're corruptible, okay? And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of the Most High may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So, back to your comment. Hail to the no. I'm I'm cool. Y'all got it. Call Halal, Yahweh Ba, Shem Yahweh Shai. Lord will, this was edifying to the hopeful elect. It's on to the next video. Shalom.